Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown up gift givers and adult toy collectors. So, today is my one year YouTube anniversary! Yay! And I wish I had like a whistle thing. I had like one of those, I don't know what you call them, but like they make whistles and like you blow them and a whistle comes. I feel like that would be appropriate, but I don't have one, so, and I cannot whistle. <laughs> yeah, can't whistle. So, we'll just pretend that I have a whistle thing. But I do have a very small party hat that's for my American Girl dolls and then an American Girl plastic balloon. <laughs> so yay! This is my party! My party attire! <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is gonna fall off because, um, yeah, this this uh, strap on this hat, it's uh, too small. Um, that is my puppy. He wants me. He actually wants to sit in my lap, but I don't let him into my doll room because um, that would be catastrophic. Yeah, he would destroy everything. He is eating like things that shouldn't be eaten. Rocks, spiders, cardboard, all kinds of things. Yeah, so he can't come in here. So he was falling asleep earlier on my lap and I was hoping that that would translate to him, like, wanting to fall asleep in the hallway. It's okay, sweetheart. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. So, I'm trying to film this. <laughs> we'll see how far I get. You might just hear him scratching on the door. Hopefully, he won't bark. Um, and also, hopefully, he won't get into anything that he's not supposed to, because he's also been doing that a lot. <laughs> he's a teenager. He's almost 10 months old, so he is... Uh, Reveling into the teenage years, man. Just reveling in his teenage misbehavior so much. It is my one year anniversary on YouTube and there were some questions that were sent in from you. So the first question was, what was your favorite doll to unbox? It is this one, the Haunt Contour Collector Monster High Draculaura because I honestly thought I would never have a Monster High doll to open up. So I am really excited. And she is the first one I've ever opened. And she's just beautiful and I love her so much. And I'm very thankful I was able to get her. Another question that I had was, what is your proudest moment? And I'd say actually starting this channel is my proudest moment. I've wanted to do a YouTube channel for a while and I just, I was nervous too. I also have lots of interests. Like I really enjoy different types of books, movies, TV shows, which I haven't been watching as much because of the dog. <laughs> One day we'll get back to it. Uh, philosophy, psychology, all kinds of different interests. So like, what do I want to start a YouTube channel on? I decide toys because um, there's, yes, there's lots of toy. <laughs> there's lots of toy YouTubers out there, a ton. But it seemed like sometimes there were dolls that I was interested in that no one was opening. So I'm like, well, I will do those then. And yeah, sometimes I do open the popular ones that everyone else does. And other times I don't. Um, another question, what's your favorite food? Pizza. My favorite food is pizza. It is the best food on this planet. I adore pizza. A toy you don't regret getting. Uh, this one is actually more recent. I've noticed that, sadly, the She-Hulk Disney Store Collector doll is out of stock. I don't think she's coming back in stock because uh, Mighty Thor has been sold out like a couple of days after I did that review and has never come back in stock. So sadly, I don't think She-Hulk is coming back into stock. I just couldn't justify spending $50 on her, but I was assuming she'd go on sale and then I would buy her, but now... Now I'm sad, even though I, I don't think she's worth $50, but she is taller than the other Disney... I'm looking that way because I have some of my Disney Store dolls right there. And she is taller than the Disney Store uh, Marvel dolls, so she probably would have been worth it for the height and because, I mean, they're never going to make a She-Hulk again. So I do regret that. I do regret that. The $50 when she's just wearing a little jumpsuit. Okay, I'm all right. Since it is my one year anniversary, I'm gonna open a doll that I've had for a while. I am going to open the Singing Moana doll. 
that I bought from a YouTuber and Instagrammer who has been selling several of his Disney, Rainbow High, lots of different items. And I bought the Singing Moana doll, which is one I have wanted for a very long time because this is what she wears at the end of Moana. I love the movie Moana, by the way. So I wanted her, but I didn't get her because I'm like, I already have a Singing Moana doll. This Singing Moana doll. Whoops, her oar fell. And she sings the exact same song. So she sings longer than she does. Interesting. Thank you all, by the way, for subscribing, for watching these videos. Like there are so many other uh, doll YouTubers out there. So, and toy YouTubers out there. So thank you so much. I really appreciate all your views, um, subscribing to my channel, comments and likes. Just thank you so much. And I am trying to open this up and um, I think I'll use, oh no, where did my, ah, there it is. Just wanna, yeah, just wanna thank you so much for doing that. It's just so kind of you. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. I think I did it. Maybe. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Why are boxes so hard to open? In the first few videos I did, I did unboxings because I'm curious to know how long it takes people to unbox their dolls. Uh, however, it took me maybe, the last video that I did that I filmed an unboxing, it took maybe 35 minutes, 40 minutes to do an unboxing and I received a comment that, yo, this video was mostly unboxing, not really entertaining to watch. <laughs> and I realized, yeah, I probably shouldn't show unboxings anymore. So this is just for funsies. Also, unboxings take me a really long time to do, in case you couldn't tell by me. Just, oh, so long. There's like ties, these ties in the back. That's just sad. So, um, I'm really excited that Disney's classic dolls have plastic free packaging. Like that's, that's a good thing, man. That's a very good thing. Cause this is just going to take forever. I broke her free, not broke her. I got her free from that part of the box. So now I just have to like, she definitely has box hair. All right. Move that, Move that, just throwing things away. It's fine. Okay. I'm just just okay so her hand whatever oh I know this was the hand that has wait is this the hand that has no that's not the hand that has the button that makes her sing which incidentally I'm really glad that they have buttons that make them sing because previously um you would on the singing dolls you would just move their wrist and they would sing and um, I had a singing Rapunzel doll, which no longer works, but <laughs> it was very, she was very sensitive because anytime the heater came on, she would sing. Like the heater must have like just been very powerful and somehow the, the airflow from the heater just like moved her wrist a little bit and she would sing. And it was really freaky the first time it happened. Like my husband and I were like, do you hear that? What's going on? <laughs> so buttons make it much easier. Incidentally, if you ever see these on eBay, uh, this one has, uh, don't remember what it's called. I will look to see what it's called and put it down below writing what she's called. But she does sing longer. The How Far I'll Go song sings longer. Where she does not, but wow. So this singing Moana who wears the outfit that she does at the end of the movie, it's very detailed. So whereas other versions of this outfit are just printed on leaves, printed on like, boy, I don't know what to call this. Like, I think it's supposed to represent, rep, like, it's supposed to be similar to straw, I think. Like, red, straw, blonde. It's, like, all printed on on the newer versions. Whereas this outfit, which is why I wanted this one, very well done. And um, you probably already know this, but if you find a Disney doll that you really like for, that's out with a new movie, get that doll because... With new movies, they are the most detailed dolls, and after that, they get less and less detailed. 
So if you see a, a, a new Disney movie that's out and you want that doll, get the doll. You'll get the more detailed doll. So she has a red top with one round strap on her shoulder. Red material that I think is supposed to represent like flowers on that strap. She has her necklace, the blue necklace. Then she has a red plastic armband that represents leaves with brown little plastic seeds at the top. It's similar to my other Moana's armband except the other singing Moana that I got is red with white seeds at the top of the armband and this one has two whereas this one only has, the new one I got only has one. And her skirt, so detailed. I'm so glad I have it. So she has a bunch of leaves at the front of her skirt that, um, I mean, they're not real leaves. This is all plastic. But like material that looks like leaves that is separate from her, well, not separate, but like it's attached to her skirt, but like it's not printed on. The top of her skirt has red looking material that's supposed to look like leaves and then all the rest of her skirt has what looks like um, whitish tan straw and then red straw at the bottom. Oh, there's my dog again. And then also she comes with a green plastic ankle band with white seeds at the top on her left ankle. And Moana is articulated. She can look to the left, to the right, up, down. Oh, it moved her, yeah, moved to her side. Her right hand has the articulation at the elbow, at the wrist, and at the shoulder, whereas her left arm just has articulation at the shoulder, shoulder, and then articulation at the wrist, I think. Maybe not. No. Okay, so the left arm of Moana just has articulation at the shoulder and then she can just swivel her hand. She doesn't have articulation with the wrist and no articulation at the elbow and that's probably because she's a singing one. She does have bend and snap but it's a... Uh, you can barely tell the difference. I might one day need to get the classic Moana so I can have Moana in her like her movie attire for most of it because like I do have the movie attire but I could just put her in this one but I want her to be in this one because you don't see her in that outfit more. So I might have to just go in to get the classic Moana just to like get the movie attire. Yes, I might do that. Well, anyway, this has been a maybe an all over the place video. I'm not sure. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to open a doll I've had for a while, especially on my YouTube anniversary. So I'm so excited to have this Moana with such great detail. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm going to do lots of fun, spooky-inspired videos for Halloween on spooky kind of dolls. And yeah, I'm excited. It's a, a few dolls I've had for a while. Some are new, so yay. So please subscribe and ring the bell for notification because I'm probably going to do more videos than every week for the month of October. And I need to go to my dog because he's he's he wants me <laughs> very badly. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like if you like this video. And remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay good at heart. Bye! And I'll see you in the next video. Yeah! <laughs> Bye!